it's absolutely heartbreaking if you then turn to your figured collection and are disappointed in what you've amassed. People focus on money so often because it's a measurement of success in our society. And I hope that as a community, we become critical of people just flaunting the value of the collection. All right, that does it. So let's do this. Let me start this off by saying that this couple has a lovely collection and I'm glad that he brought this topic up to discuss because I do think it's important for the community to talk about these types of things. I'm only going to be commenting on the first part of their video because that's really only where this discussion is had. The rest of it is just them showing off their collection. But they've bookmarked this section and rightfully titled it Important Words Slash TED Talk. So before I rant about what I disagree with, let me go ahead and give some points as to where I agree with him with this discussion. Discussion. On YouTube, there is a particular focus on the dollar amount. The absurdity of how much you spend is really what draws people in, whether that be a large amount, big money, or a small amount, big savings. And when it comes to figure collecting in particular, the algorithm here on YouTube does tend to give you a little bit of a boost if you share that dollar amount. So with all of that being said, let's get into the actual response. I've been collecting for over nine years, and Kohai has been collecting for over five years but it's just this year that we started to join social media groups in regard to figure collecting. And although the figure community has been very good to us so far, there are a few things we dislike about the community, namely what we see on YouTube, and that's the emphasis on money when it comes to these collections. So if you're here just to learn how much this collection costs, we're not going to tell you. There are three kind of main reasons we feel that just focusing on the money is kind of detrimental to the hobby as a whole, so we'd like to do our best to refrain from that. For starters, people aren't speculative investors when it comes to anime figures, and the price is completely relative to the collection, so it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Secondly, if you're someone who's wanting to get into anime figures and anime figure collecting, we find that that price tag can be very discouraging to new collectors. And then lastly, if you're already collecting, it can be very detrimental to your mindset and how you look at your own collection when you attempt to compare yours to other people on social media. So let's break those down. Yes, you can make money selling figures, but the speculative market really isn't there. People that collect anime figures collect anime figures because they enjoy anime and they enjoy seeing their characters in 3D form. When they purchase these figures, the intrinsic value they get from that item is greater than the cost. That's why we collect in the first place. That item brings you joy and it brings you happiness. Your collection is a compilation of things that make you happy. With that, price is completely relative to the collection, so it doesn't really matter. Except for the fact that it does still matter because this is an expensive hobby. I agree that the value money-wise of your collection is nowhere near as important as the value, the joy, the happiness you get from not only your collection but the journey of collecting itself. But I also think that sharing at least roundabout prices has its place too. That way it gives people an idea of what something's worth. For instance, if you're researching it can actually be incredibly helpful, which is something I recommend doing in order to make sure you're actually getting the best price out there. If you see that so-and-so online paid X amount for a figure, you'd be dumb to then go ahead and spend more than that. If you have the best prize figure collection in the entire country, it's easily possible that a scale figure collection is worth more money. But does that somehow take away from the fact that you have the best prize figure collection in the country? This is a strange example to bring up because there's no best in regards to figure collecting, regardless of what types of figures you are collecting. I also find it interesting that he's automatically assuming that when someone sees a collection that is worth more, others see that as a good thing or a positive thing, which is not necessarily true either. Trust me, some of us who enjoy those videos think that those people are crazy and are just watching out of the morbid curiosity and because of the entire concept of spending that much on this piece of plastic is very entertaining. No, it doesn't whatsoever. Secondly, it can be detrimental to those who are just now collecting or wanting to collect anime figures. The last thing I want to happen is this. I don't want someone to look at our collection or collection like ours 
and think to themselves, man, I really want that in my life and I hope to obtain that in the future. But then they hear the price tag associated with it and then they back off thinking, well, there's no way I could ever afford that, so why should I begin collecting in the first place? Really, dude? Look, I know you're trying to be humble and all, but I can look at your collection and know that within my lifetime, I will probably never amass the size and scale of what your collection is. I can look at it without you telling me the price and know that you've spent buttloads of money on it. Regardless if you want to share the actual number with us or not, you still spent that amount of money. And while it's totally your choice whether you want to disclose how much you spent or not, hiding it from newcomers isn't exactly helpful either. If you get into this hobby, it's expensive. That's just the way it is. And really collecting nearly anything is going to be expensive. And for newcomers, that's a band-aid they're gonna have to rip off eventually. Now, how expensive the hobby depends on the individual. The best way to combat the problems that you're describing here are to share money-saving tips, cheaper figure options, and things like that. So that newcomers know the best way to navigate this space and how little they can spend and how much they can save while buying anime figures. As a community, we just lost a friend. We just lost the opportunity to gain someone who's going to have a similar passion to us. And then they're deprived of that joy of collecting something in the first place. People don't necessarily focus on the fact that it might have taken them 14 years to collect and amass that collection. And when you break it down, the price becomes a lot more meaningless and insignificant in the grand scheme of things. And lastly, if you're already collecting anime figures, maybe you've been collecting for two to three years, and you go online and you see someone who's showing off their $30,000 figure collection, it's absolutely heartbreaking if you then turn to your figure collection and are disappointed in what you've amassed. That's not why you collected in the first place. You collected these things because it brought you joy and focusing on the price tag of that can be detrimental to the mindset and how you look at your own and even how you perceive moving forward in the future. I'm gonna be really blunt here. I don't think any collector who has been collecting for years does this at all. A true collector has pride in what they've built. They find joy in what they're doing and someone having a bigger or better collection shouldn't and isn't going to make them feel bad because they have a connection to their collection, not Joe Schmoes online. This isn't realistic. I mean, let's use a different example. Let's say I have a car that I've been modifying for years and someone else has been doing the same, but they have more and better improvements than me because they've had the money to spend on modifying their vehicle. I don't then look at my car and think something less of it or the work I've done on it just because someone else has something better. This is my car and I'm proud of what I've done. Same with a garden, for example. Let's say your neighbor has the money to buy better dirt and fertilizer, more flowers and plants. And even though you've worked passionately on your own garden for years on end, theirs is more impressive at the end of the day. Does that mean you now look at your own garden and think, well, that kind of sucks? Your garden doesn't mean less to you now just because someone else did it better. It's a dangerous way to walk through life comparing what you have to others. And if what someone else has or can afford affects you negatively, that's something you need to work on within yourself. Be happy for what you have and where you are in life because no matter where you are, someone is always going to have something better and someone is always going to be worse off. A little jealousy is totally fine and normal, but when you let it ruin something that you have a passion for, that's when it becomes a problem and that's when you need to work on yourself. We need to remind ourselves that social media is a bunch of people trying to put their best foot forward. We have a lot of people, again, flaunting the value of things. Here's my $30,000 anime figure collection or here's my $3,000 AmiAmi figure unboxing. But there are things that we don't see and things that we forget. Let's use that $30,000 figure collection as an example. Although they may be flaunting that price tag to you, they may not be telling you the journey it took to get to that. Maybe it took them five years to amass that collection. Now that's 60 months, that's $500 a month, and that's still a lot of money, and it's $500 a month is a lot of disposable income to many of us. But let's put some perspective on that. Many of you may actually have something in your life that could be that anime figure collection. If you're American, you probably have to have a car to get around, and many Americans have a loan on a vehicle, let's say it's $25,000, $28,000, that costs them $500 a month. Well, that's your anime figure collection. So maybe you're a person in that position 
But once you pay your car off, you'll be able to amass that collection that you want. We gotta keep in mind that there's a journey, there's a story behind how they got to certain places. When you're looking at our collection today, please keep in mind that it took us 14 years cumulatively to collect what you see. That's almost half of my life, and that's over half of Kohai's life. I do think that's very important to keep in mind, especially when you first start collecting. Perspective is very important when you see someone with a collection as big as, like, for instance, his is. And that's just crazy. And when you look at it in that perspective, money becomes less significant because it's broken down over a long span of time. If you keep collecting for five years, you're going to be blown away with how large your collection has grown or the quality of your collection has grown, and you're going to be very proud of where you've made it. The main reason we bring this up is this. We don't want our collection in any way to bring down anybody. We want this to encourage new people to collect and people who are currently collecting to continue growing their collection if this is a hobby that you enjoy. We hope more than anything that you can take something out of this. Maybe this inspires you in some way to work on your collection or start a new collection. Maybe you like how we've lit our cases. I'll talk to you about that and you're welcome to copy it. Maybe you like how we have our figures layered and you want to mimic that. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it looks too cluttered to you. So when you build your collection, you know you need more display cases to lay out your figures a little more separated. We want to be the first to encourage you to join our hobby and to continue collecting if you're already in it. You can do it. It just takes time. People focus on money so often because it's a measurement of success in our society. I disagree but that is what the media will tell you. Success is measured in happiness, not dollars. The only people who will measure success by the zeros in your bank account are the people who have money and who are generally not super happy themselves. And the sad truth is, is it's just gonna take some of you longer than others, right? Some people have more disposable income, some do not. That being said, all it takes is time and I wanna make sure that we keep that in mind when you look at collections like this and I hope that as a community, we become critical of people just flaunting the value of the collections for the reasons that I stated before. A big part of collecting is the personal journey. He seems to think that the only reason someone would share the value of their collection is to one-up or brag. And I'm just gonna be very honest, I don't see a whole lot of that going on on YouTube. Since he mentioned his gripe is specifically with YouTube, I think it's important to point out that this is not just a hobby for some people. For some people, this has crossed over into becoming their job or a little bit of extra income for them to support their hobby. Sharing dollar amount has been seen to help people find your video, so why wouldn't you share it? These videos do incredibly well, whether it's a big channel or a small channel. And again, there are also people out there who will use it as reference. This is what a collection of X dollars looks like. That's the nice thing about watching a variety of people's collection videos. You can see how what people have changes based on the amount of money they've spent on their collection. I feel like it's less of a brag and more of a, hey, FYI, this is what a this dollar amount collection looks like. It doesn't have to come across as a brag. And again, I don't see many creators doing this maliciously. So I think it's unfair to paint them all in this light. And now would be a good time to point out your own title. You've shared the amount of figures you have collected. FYI, this is how many figures are in my collection. How would the money value be any more hurtful than the number value? You titled your video over 500 anime figures. You yourself are still sharing this large amount that you've amassed. If your arguments held weight, they would apply to yourself as well. Why should I feel bad about you spending more money than me, but not feel bad about the fact that you own more anime figures than me? They're telling me the same thing, just using a different metric. Your collection is big, it's expensive, there's a lot of stuff in it. All it is is less clickbaity to use the amount of figures versus the amount of money you spent. And regardless, you still spent a huge amount. As I mentioned, I don't need you to tell me that to know you spent a lot of money on your collection. I sincerely hope that this is coming across genuine. It's not a humble brag. That's not how we're intending this to be. We're not trying to put ourselves on some pedestal above everybody else. In fact, it's the opposite. I'm so tired of all the facades that people have online that I hope this feels and is humbling to you all who are watching this. We want to be encouraging. You all are a part of a community that we love and we're excited to be a part of that. Any of the comments you leave on YouTube or if you've interacted with us 
on Reddit mean the world to us because you all are our friends. We don't have anyone close by to share this passion with. None of our friends collect. Most all of them are still in college, so they don't yet have the funds to amass and grow a collection. So truly, it means the world to us to be a part of this, and we're excited to share this with you. And we're going to be excited when we talk about it. So again, I just wanna make sure that the mindset that we go into this is in line with how we feel as people on YouTube and how we want to present our channel. I enjoyed hearing this. And even though I disagree with you, I hope you understand that I did understand where you're coming from. You don't want to come across the way that you're describing these other YouTubers when they shared their large collection. You want to share your collection, but you know that it's large and expensive, so you want to make sure you do it in the most humble way possible. And most of all, you want to make sure you don't come across as bragging. I get it. So anyways, that's the main part of this that I want to respond to. He does go on and talk some more about some other things that I just personally do not feel the need to respond to. I think I got my disagreements out there and across. So go ahead and check out their collection if you're interested. It is very impressive, if not just for the sheer volume. But before you go, one last comment. I personally find collection tours, whether they are large collections, small collections, share the dollar amount or not, I find them inspiring. I tend to watch collection and figure videos indiscriminately meaning that I will watch people unbox and show off things that I don't even know what the heck they are or where they're from. And there's a beauty in that because you can always find a new anime, a new manga, or even a new hobby completely just from the sheer variety of what is out there to watch on here. I think it's fantastic that as a community we can all grow and share our collections regardless of how we choose to do it. But with all that being said, I do think this is a rather interesting conversation to have, and I'm curious to hear what you all think. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, maybe you're somewhat like me, maybe you should subscribe, I don't know. It would be awesome if you could help me out. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time.